Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Maria. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, Marco. Welcome, welcome, welcome. ¿Cómo están? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Cómo están? Good evening. Bye, thank you. Very I good, see. very good. Uh, who can tell me what you learned in the previous class? ¿Qué aprendió en la clase anterior? Teacher. ¿Qué aprendió? I'm, teacher, I'm sorry. I, I don't call him out in class or Tuesday. Oh, okay. Why? What happened? In, I, um, I have a compromise. Mm with my family. Mm, okay. Eh, ¿Y a dónde va en la conversación, en la plataforma? Eh, lesson um, 3.4, you know? Ah, 3.4. Yes. Uh, oh, office gas station. That's good. That's not bad. That's okay. 3.4 is okay. That's a good, that's a good place to be. Uh, now, today, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be start uh, finishing, vamos a estar terminando, uh, section three. I mean, section two, y vamos a estar empezando section three. Vamos a empezar de donde paramos, 2.9. All right. Now, for this activity, I would like for us to... Hello, Carla. Good evening. Uh, we're going to be looking at this section. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we're going to be looking at 2.9, knowledge Thank check, uh, instructions, complete the sentences, use the words in the box. Instrucciones. Complete estas oraciones. Use las palabras del cuadro. Eh, repeat. Call. Stay. stay don't, stay, go, don't go, go. go. Don't drink. Don't drink. See. see take, take. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't, worry. don't eat. Dentist. For example, number one, a dentist. Dentist. ¿Qué dice? Stay, don't drink, call, take, don't worry, don't eat, don't go, or see. Call. Call. Call a dentist. Okay. So, les voy a enseñar cómo chequear su progreso. Ustedes se van a ir aquí arriba, donde dice progreso en su plataforma y le va a dar clic ahí eh, quiero que vean que ahorita estamos que ahorita la, mi sección 2 está hasta como aquí abajo ya veo mira está donde está tal vez está como al 30% right so vengo yo y hago la actividad en la plataforma bueno la vamos a hacer juntos Me voy acá, sección 2. Y estaba aquí. Y la vamos a hacer. So, la primera sería call a dentist. Number 2. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry too Don't. much. Number 3. Take. Take. Take two aspirins. Number four. Don't go. Don't go to school. Don't go. Mm. Okay, don't Stay. go to school. Stay to school, no. Don't go to school. Don't go. Don't All right, go. number five. Uh, stay. Stay in bed. Stay. Number stay six. Bed. Stay. Stay. See a doctor number seven. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink, Don't drink. coffee. Why? I love coffee. Number eight. Don't 
Then eat candy. Oh, I love candy. I love candy. Yo fuera mal paciente porque todo lo que me está diciendo que no haga me gusta. <laughs> All right. So, están viendo que todas están correctas. Ahora me voy otra vez a progreso. Y vean cómo me subió. Estaba por aquí abajo en el 30. Y ahora está aquí por el 60. Todos tienen que estar el mínimo al 80%. Todos. Section 1, Section 2, Section 3, Section 4, Section 5, el midterm y el final exam. Todo tiene que estar por lo menos al 80%. Ese es el mínimo. ¿Vieron cómo subió la barra? Sí. Yes. Yes. All right. So así les tiene que ir subiendo a ustedes. Ok. Ok. We're going to continue. Y nos vamos a, right here, lesson objectives. Lesson objectives, by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about to, how to improve your health. Additionally, you will develop skills in scanning, reading for main ideas. Al final de esta clase, ustedes leerán y discutirán un artículo acerca de cómo mejorar la salud. Adicionalmente, desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura y la detección de ideas principales. What happened? Oops. Reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. And simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. All right. Very good. Now, for this activity, what I would like for everybody to do is you are going to be coming down here in the discussion forum right here. And you're going to give me five sentences, cinco oraciones, expressing how to improve your health. That's your homework. Any questions? Any questions on the homework? Okay. Now, for the next activity, we're going to look at knowledge check. Instructions, read the article, then complete the sentence. Instrucciones, lee el artículo y luego completa las oraciones. You will have five minutes, and I would like for you to work in pairs with a classmate. Five minutes, and then we're going to check together. Ready? Let's go. 
picture, can I take a screenshot? Yes, of course. Screenshot. All right, so here's number one. Oh, this one. No, the activity. Okay, uh, but right now, uh, who's talking right now? Yeah, because I I think I can't uh, log in and <laughs> and see huh. it. Okay, uh, I'll I'll help you out later, uh, Carla. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, sección privada. Maritza Portillo, Maritza Portillo, ¿estás allí? Maritza Portillo. Hola. ¿Tiene la imagen? ¿De la plataforma? Sí. sí. Ok. Eh, ¿Ya rió la primera? Um... ¿De la actividad? ¿Sí? No, eso la tengo la imagen. 10, 10 simple ways to improve your health. But um, I tengo la imagen número 6, del número 6, to challenge your brain. Uh, I, I puedo ayudar en esa. To eh, challenge el, your brain. ¿El knowledge check no la tiene entonces? No, es que yo no tengo el link de eso. Pero okay. si quiere, si quieres lo, lo puede leer. No, o sea, yo ya lo tengo hasta completo. O sea, no, 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 no hay, no tengo, o sea, yo, yo ya lo completé. Ah, oh, ok. Yo lo tengo contestado. Ok, está bien, entonces. Sí, porque yo solo tengo la imagen del número 6 y sería, creo, creo que sería... Mmm, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. No, no, no. Esta la seis es wear a seat belt every year. Every year seat belt save thousands of lives. Sorry? Así dice la número seis. O sea, eh, la que yo tengo es otra entonces. Bueno, yo tengo el knowledge check. Ah, pues quizás es otra, pero se trata del mismo tema, ¿verdad? Es el mismo tema. Porque dice, to challenge your brain, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. En la segunda opción, water helps your body in many ways. En la tercera, do something different. En la cuarta, walking is good exercise. Creo que no son las mismas, pero igual este, si ya las tiene, que bueno. Sí, este, la, la, si gusta regáleme su número, le mando a WhatsApp la imagen. All right, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for completing the activity. Let's go ahead and check. Number one, to get exercise. To get exercise. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Todos tienen lo mismo, go for a walk. Yes. Yes. Go for a walk. Okay. And number two. Get enough calcium. Get enough? Calcium. Calcium. Get enough calcium. 
Number three. Stretch for five minutes. Repeat. Stretch for five minutes. All right. Stretch for five minutes. And number four. Floss your teeth. Okay. Floss your teeth. Perfect. Okay. Number five. Breakfast. All right. Eat breakfast. Number six. Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. All right. Do a crossword puzzle or read. Okay. Let's check. Sir, I have a question. Yes. What does crossword mean? A uh, crossword puzzle. Eh, son los rompecabezas que encuentras en los periódicos eh, que dice dame una palabra que tiene cuatro letras que empiece con Y yet, right. yet, yeti right, eso, esos son los crosswords thank you uh -huh. ok, vamos a ver si me subió la barrita en el progreso boom Ya tengo el 80% mínimo. ¿Ve? Good. Ya estoy bien. All right. Yo creo que esa es la última. Ahí está. All right. Finish section number two. And we continue section three. Si quiere decir que vamos bien con el agenda. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places. And discuss where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir cosas diferentes. Vocabulary, places and things. Listen, please. Tome apuntes en lo que escucha el video. Tome apuntes en lo que escucha el video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes. All right. So, en esta actividad, me va a dar una oración por imagen. Eh, son one, two, three, four, five, cinco imágenes, seis imágenes. Y lo va a escribir así. You can pay bills at a bank. Tú puedes eh, pagar los recibos en el banco. You can buy shoes at a department store. Puedes comprar zapatos en una tienda de departamentos. Esa es su tarea. Lo va a escribir acá en el discussion forum. Knowledge check. All right, vamos a ver cómo está mi sección ahorita. Me voy a progreso. Y mi progreso está en cero. Right? Estoy en cero. No tengo nada. So, aquí me voy yo 
a la plataforma y estaba en la que sigue. El knowledge check. Instructions. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations to answer the question. Escuche las conversaciones de la familia Anderson y responda las preguntas. You will have five minutes to do the activity with your classmates. Five minutes to do the activity with your classmates. Let's go. Veo que Maritza Padilla no entró y Waldir González no entró. El número uno. Uh, Department store. And dos. La dos es cookies for the set. Three. Aspirin. Four. To the drugstore to get a newspaper. Sí, están todas correctas. Bueno, creo que nos queda tiempo. Voy a escucharlo para, para solo corroborar, porque ya sé que están todas buenas. <ríe> Gracias. Bye. Bye, está bien. Creo que hay alguien más. Evelyn. Mm. Evelyn Alvarado. Hello. Hello. Ya. Yeah. Ya completo el 3.2. Hola. 3.2, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí, esa ya la tenía. Bueno. Solamente, solo una pregunta. Van a estar evaluando lo de los volados, foros de discusión. Ah. Uh, Pensaría yo que, no, no sé, porque en los módulos pasados, pues, no, no nos decían si era no, obligación. No, Ajá, no sé si esta uh -huh. vez sí. Ahorita estoy en la 3.8. Ya, ya va bien estoy avanzada. En, ya estoy en el examen. En el meeting. 
Pero créanme que casi no lo entiendo. A mí lo que me ha costado es lo de las avenidas. Ajá, cuesta. Eso me ha costado. Hay varias cosas que no. Sí. ¿Y eso en dónde está? En la 3. En la 3.6 sí. empieza. Ah. Eh, preposition ah. of please. Es que yo apenas voy empezando. Pues, en lugar. Yo ahora avancé, si iba bien atrasada. Mm. Ahora me puse un rato, hice un paréntesis ahí con tantas cosas uh -huh. en la casa. Me voy a tener, voy a tener que avanzar porque sí voy bien atrasada ya. No, yo estaba súper atrasada. Yo me había quedado en la unidad como a principios de la unidad 2. Sí, avanzó bastante. Sí, o sea, aunque sea en una hora. Me voy a aislar y voy a ver qué hago. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go get it. Come back with it. Don't forget it. Let me get it. Are you ready? ready. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's look at the first one. Where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? And department and story. Perfect. Number two. What does mom need from the supermarket? Cookies for dessert. dessert. Cookies for dessert. Number three, yes. what does dad need from the drugstore? Aspirin. 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 Where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the drugstore to get a newspaper. Perfect. To the drugstore to get a newspaper. All right, vamos a ver si subió mi progreso. Oh, ya me subió, eh? Aquí estoy en 30%. Ya vamos avanzando. Okay. Hi. But I review, I can return the, the lesson. Oh, yes, you can go one, of course. Yes, of course. No problem. That's okay. Okay, section 3.3. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando están diciendo sustantivos compuestos. Listen, please. Repeat. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Supermarket. 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 Restroom. 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 Bookstore. 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 Eh, hay mucha gente que tiene mala interpretación de la palabra bookstore y library. Les voy a explicar porque me imagino que alguien de aquí va a tener esa duda. Eh, bookstore es donde tú vas a comprar libros. En metro. Eh, ahí se compran los libros. Library. Es un lugar público donde tú agarras una membresía o una tarjeta y tú te prestan el libro sin costo y de allí después de tantos días regresas los libros. Eso se llama library. Bookstore, no. Bookstore, compras el libro. Do you understand? Como una biblioteca, Tisho. Correct. Exactly. Como una biblioteca. Esa es library. 
y bookstore es la tienda donde venden los libros en metro en that's right thank you teacher. thank you uh, continue department store department store okay listen please Eh, María, le voy a pedir que mantenga el micrófono en silencio porque se escucha una interferencia de su lado. Let's go. Tome notes. Tome apuntes. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person a place or a thing so basically anything that you can see around you is a noun compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun for example the compound noun gas station gas the word by itself is a noun station is a noun Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is, whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Todos sabemos cómo usar um, Vocaroo. Yes. Ok, so, en el Vocaroo yes. lo que va a hacer es grabarse eh, eh, pronunciando las palabras que están ahí y después de grabarse va a copiar el link y lo va a pegar en la discussion forum. For example, usted va a ver las palabras. Usted las va a ver. Give me one second. So, usted se va a Google, donde dice Google. Aquí. Y aquí usted va a escribir vo ca ru dot Come, right? Y le va a dar enter. Le va a llevar a la página bocaru.com. Y aquí usted se va a grabar. Post office, gas station, police officer, chocolate chip, etc. Se puede escuchar. Post office, gas station. 
police officer. Después va a guardar chocolate chip. y compartir. Va a guardar y compartir. Va a copiar el link. Así, aquí está el chequecito de copiar el link. Después se va a venir aquí a la plataforma. Va a poner añade. Y aquí va a decir, va a poner. Compound nouns. Nombres compuestos. Y aquí usted va a darle pegar y enviar. ¿Alguna pregunta? Veo que algunos ya la hicieron. Tiene cinco minutos. Five minutes. Five minutes. In pairs. Eh, grabemos ahorita entonces. No sé si ya se metió en buscar. Perdón. La, la vez anterior eh, lo, lo mandamos. ¿Se acuerda que mandamos un ejercicio? Entonces yo lo tenía acá. Lo tengo. ¿Lo halló Roxana? Sí. Grábelo entonces para enviarlo. Um, no estoy escuchando que están pronunciando nada. Eh, no escucho a Maritza, no escucho a Marco, no escucho a Roxana. ¿Ent ¿Entienden lo que estamos haciendo? Sí, eh, pronunciar la, los sustantivos compuestos. That's eh, correct. Ya mencioné eso, lo que estaban buscando Roxana, nada más ya lo va a pronunciar. Oh, Pero okay. voy a volver yes. a repetir. Eh, Serían compuestos. No, 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 pero mi pregunta es, mi pregunta es si están grabándose y subiéndolo a la plataforma, porque lo puede hacer aquí en video, pero si no se graba y no lo sube a la plataforma, no cuenta. Oh, just, eh, oh, ya, ya, lo, ya lo hice. Ah, ok, ya lo subió a la plataforma. Yes. Ah, ok, ok, excelente. Ah, pues ya thank terminaron. You, thank you, thank yes. you. Ok, ok. Ah, pues sí, ya lo... Ok, guys, eh, veo que la mayoría ya lo grabó y ya lo dijo, así que we are going to continue. Uh, the next one is 3.5. 
by the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. Prepositions of place. Listen, please. Prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Now, I would like to talk And first. All right, now for this activity, we are going to practice the pronunciation. Everybody listen and repeat. Excuse me, can you help me? Excuse me, can you help Excuse me? Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom around here? I'm through there. A public restroom? Hmm. A public restroom? I'm sorry. I don't I'm think so. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom break. My son needs a restroom break. Well, there's a restroom in the department store in Main Street. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it is across from the park. Yes, it is across from the park. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Ok, so, van a practicar esta conversación cinco veces. Eh, van a intercambiar el rol de man y woman. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Practice the conversation. Hello, Maritza. How are you, Maritza?
Como sí, sí. Ah, ahorita voy a compartir. Y ah, acá está. Mm, yes. Yes. Hay trabajo. Ok, eh, ¿quién va primero? Ay, ¿Va a ser eh, la mujer o el hombre? Ay, Ok. So, Roxana, if you want, you can say you can be the woman. Yes. Um, excuse me, can you tell me is there a restroom a uh, room her? Around. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store in Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of May and Fifth Avenue. On the corner of May, it freeze. freeze. Yes, it's a restroom the car. You can't miss it. Thank you. A look. Ahora invertimos y después lo practicamos. Yes. Okay. Um, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I am sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department story on my stream. Well, on Main Street. It's on the corner of May Street Avenue. Oh, the corner of May and First? Yes, it's a cruise from the park. You can miss it. Thank you. Uh, okay, ahora... Uh... ¿Quién va a practicar conmigo? Yo. Ok. Y después, ¿y después Maritza? Ok. Um, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, it's all. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where? On Main Street? It's on the corner of May and Fifth Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's a close from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, Marita, um, are you going to be the man or woman? Um, uh, me. Okay, so start. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom? A room here? Public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main in Free. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thank you, Alu. Um, ahora, Wadma. Okay. Thanks, please. Roxana, get it, Roxana. Okay, okay, don't worry. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? 
Um, a public restroom. Mm, I am sorry, I do not take soup. So, perdón. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department story on May Street. Where on May Street? It's on the corner of May and Freeze Avenue. Oh no, the corner of May and Freeze? Yes, it's a cruise for the park. You can miss it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, I think it's done, right? Do you want to try again? Okay. Bye. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a pool is there, is there a pool restroom? I don't think. I blew a public restroom. Mm, I sorry, I do not think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the apartment story on May Street. Where on May Street? Is on the corner of May in Freeze Avenue. Oh, the corner of me in Fritz? Yes, it, it's a cruise from the park. You can miss it. Thank you. Thank you. If I can help you with someone, when you gonna say alrededor is around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like no con around. It's like around. Around. And around. Around. Yeah, exactly. Around. And when you're gonna the ask, ultima thing, thank you. A, a look. Okay, it's thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Trata de pronunciar el CH como si fuera una Z. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Exactly. And when you're gonna say uh, in the last one, woman, when she say, yes, it's a cross, a cross. A cross. Exactly. Yes, a cross. it's a cross. It's a cross. It's a cross. Correct. And if you want to say primero, it will be first. Excuse me. Okay, if you want to say primero, it will be first.
All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two. Okay, go ahead. Um, solo que no tengo la imagen, teacher. You don't have the conversation? Um, uh, uh, excuse oh. me. Uh -huh. Excuse me, can you help me? Is no. there a public restroom? A room here? Yes, teacher. All right, who's next? Uh, I'm gonna help you. Me, teacher. Okay. A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where? On Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the core of Main in Priest. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. All right. Excellent. Applause. Good job. All right. Let me have two more volunteers. I am teacher. Okay, Maria. I do not see me. Maria. I am teacher, Reina. All right, Reina, action. Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store of Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the bar. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. All right. Very good. Excellent pronunciation, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go. Por favor, avancen lo más que puedan en la plataforma. And we see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Enjoy. I see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.